Hi, I'm Griffin Storm, president of the Norman Water Club, a group of students in Norman, Oklahoma, raising awareness and funds to fight the global water crisis. While COVID-19 has raged throughout the world, a less publicized health epidemic has affected roughly 10% of the global population. Over 785 million people lack the basic need of clean water. On November 1st, 2020, our club threw an outdoor festival at a local vineyard in which 70 community members showed up in order to learn about the water crisis and what they can do to help. Here's a quick video of our water walk experience with educational stations organized and led by our members. Not having clean water means no safe way to wash your hands or to cook. It means no clean, hot showers and no running water. Just today, 200 million hours will be spent walking to get water. So much time is spent because the millions of people caught in the water crisis walk on average 3.7 miles with 40 pound containers every single day just to collect contaminated water. The little water collected is often contaminated with bacteria, causing diseases like diarrhea, dysentery, and typhoid, which kill 3.4 million people every year, more than the entire population of Puerto Rico. In developing countries, up to 80% of all illnesses can be linked to poor water, which account for half of all hospital visits in the world. Hearing statistics can be overwhelming and impersonal, but each number of the 780 million represents a living, breathing human being. One of these numbers was a 13-year-old Ethiopian girl named Leti Kiros. At age 8, it became her responsibility to collect her family's dirty water. Walking from her village at dawn, Leti Kiros spent up to 10 hours a day carting a 40-pound pot of water on her back. One day, on her way back from Arlu Springs, she tripped, dropping and shattering her pot. A 10-hour day suddenly soaked up by the beating sun. Feeling exhausted and ashamed, she felt she had no choice but to use a nearby tree to take her own life. If you want to learn more about Leti Kiros, simply look up Leti Kiros' story. Fortunately, the water crisis is completely solvable. Simple solutions like biosand filters, hand dug wells, and irrigation systems can save thousands of lives every day. And they give communities more than just clean water. Investing $1 in the water crisis can yield up to $12 in economic returns. Time spent collecting water or being ill is replaced with the ability to start a local business or go to school. Right now, we're partnering with Charity Water, a water-focused nonprofit based in New York City. Our goal is to fund one water project every semester, which provides over 300 people with clean water, so people like Leta Kiros don't have to walk to get dirty water. We'd love it if you could join our club to help end this crisis, one community at a time. Our donation link is located below and in our Instagram bio. Thanks to Charity Water, 100% of your money will go directly to the field. As they say, Thanks for believing in a world where everyone has clean water.